guys, it's me Jocelyn. So today I'm going to be showing you a few transitions you can do if you get stuck while editing on Alight Motion or just really any editing app in general. But this one I'm going to show you how to do them on specifically Alight Motion. So if you already know how to do them on the other apps, good job. Uh, um, yeah. Anyways, so the first thing we're going to go ahead and do is just a regular spin. So go ahead and go to Effects, Add Effect, and Tiles. And then just add those on and mirror them. You can also go ahead and add them to your second photo as well. Okay, so now go ahead and go on to the move and transform and then the spin panel. Add two keyframes. Now on the second one, spin it to whatever you like. I'm going to do negative 145 degrees. I like my spins to sh like spin a little bit more than I usually did. I used to do just like 90 degrees, but now I do like negative 145. I just found that it's better for me. I'm going to go ahead and fix my graph because I'm not a huge fan of what I just did with it. But let's see. Looks like this so far. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and do positive 145 now. Yours might look different if you have a different type of device than me. But yeah, A-Light Motion looks different on all different types of phones. So just keep that in mind. Yours might not look the exact same as mine. So there's just your simple spin. I actually kind of hate the graphs that I'm using. Let me try and fix that real quick. I really don't like it. Um, That's much better. And then you just go ahead and add on motion blur to make it a little bit smoother. Motion blur increases everything, including the quality. So keep that in mind whenever you're editing. So yeah, there's the first one, just a simple little spin. Okay, this next one is going to be a corner spin. So go ahead and go to move and transform and then tap on this little arrow right here and it should pop up, some words should pop up and it should say swipe here to move pivot point. Just go ahead and swipe it upwards just so it's like over here. Or I actually prefer moving it like right where the center is and just moving it right over here to the side, exactly on the center line. Once again, you can move it wherever you'd like, wherever you'd like your photo to spin to, but I just prefer right here. So now go ahead and go into the spin panel and then add two keyframes just like you did last time. This time I'm going to do negative 90 just because I don't really like the amount that it spins on the corner spin. That's my opinion though. You guys can agree to disagree. This is what it looks like so far. So go ahead and do that exact same thing on your second photo. Move it to the exact same place, not the opposite place or else it'll end up looking really weird. And then just do the other, ver like the other, like number version i guess i don't really know how to explain without sounding weird but yeah it should end up looking something like this i'm not too happy with the photos i chose just because they don't really fit well together but that's my opinion you know um yeah it also could just be the graphs i'm using i haven't edited on a light in a while i mean i have i just haven't gotten like really used to the graphs so yeah this is what it looks like for the corner spin also if you did multiple of these in one like you move the pivot points on each different picture i feel like it could end up looking really really cool okay the next transition is just um a color slide so go ahead and add on a square or any shape of your choice i'm gonna add on this little rectangle right here you can make it whatever color you want. I'm basic, so I'm just going to go ahead and choose white. Now go ahead and go to Move and Transform, and then Spin. And then just go ahead and go to the spin until it's completely straight, just like this. Then go ahead and drag down on it to make it wider if you want. Or you could just zoom it in to make it wider as well. It's whatever you prefer. Now I like mine to be um, straight and long like this. So you could also make it a little bit thicker if you want. I'm going to make it just like this. And then I'm going to split it right where it is. So now on the first keyframe and second keyframe. First keyframe, I'm going to slide it out of the way just so you can't see it. Now on the second keyframe. Okay. Sorry, I just had like a weird little mind fart, brain fart, I guess. I don't really know. Anyways, on the second keyframe, I'm going to slide it to where the exact center is. This is just the way I prefer to do it. You can make it like further or closer to the center, whatever you want. This is what it looks like so far. So now this one's already in the middle, like in the center. So on the second keyframe, I'm just going to swipe it the opposite direction to where you can't see it anymore. Then I'm going to do an out graph with that. You could also slide the photos at the bottom as well. So I think maybe that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to slide it in the opposite direction that the color block is going. So that's what it looks like. And then just do the opposite direction on this photo, obviously, you know. So it looks like this. 
I think it looks really smooth and honestly I like it. You could also add a motion blur to the little color blocks as well if that makes it easier for you and if you like the look of that more than just like motion blur on the regular photo itself. And yeah. My next transition is going to be a like open kind of transition, like a fold open. So go ahead and go to the zoom in panel and tap this little infinity sign right here type thing. Add two keyframes and you can either stretch it open or stretch it closed like this. I prefer to have it stretched open. My dog is actually snoring in the background. So if you hear snoring, that's what it is. He's had a long day, you know, a long day. <laughs> anyway, so this is what it should look like so far. And then go ahead and go on to it again on the second photo. Add your keyframes. And then this way, just slide it like closing or the opposite way of what you did the first time. I have the advanced graphs right here. So, and I prefer to use this one. This one, it just gives it a little bit of a bounce whenever it opens. So it bounces like this a little bit. I really love the look of this. Um, if you don't have it, you don't have to do it like that. You could just have it like open. But I really like this look of the little bounce that it gives. So yeah, this is just personally what I would use. And yeah. And yeah, that is it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, please give a thumbs up and subscribe and comment down below if it helped you out. Oh wait, sorry. No, wait, I just messed that up. And yeah, that is it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if it helped you out and comment down below any tutorial requests you guys may have. Also, we are literally so close to 28,000, which is insane to me. Um, I really appreciate it and I love all you guys so much. And yeah, I love you guys. Bye. And yeah, that is it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if it helped you out and comment down below any tutorial requests you guys may have. Also, we are literally so close to 28,000, which is insane to me. Um, I really appreciate it and I love all you guys so much. And yeah, I love you guys. Bye.